What's going on guys? Bradley Martin here. Today I want to talk about something important, something, something, something special, okay? Um, so a lot of you guys may know this. I have been a trainer since I was like, you know, negative four. All right, serious shit. Not really negative four, but since I was like just turning 17, I've been a trainer pretty much my whole life. And throughout that experience, I've worked with tons of different people. And there's a common thing that I heard a lot of the way and with a lot of people, and still to this day, like I'll get messages from people uh, on my Instagram or I'll hear like someone will come up to me in person and tell me something in the gym. Um, and what I tend to hear a lot from people, like they, well, they ask me this question. They're like, what do you do if you had a bad workout? What do you do if you missed a meal? What do you do if you cheated for too long? What do you do if um, you, know, you, you missed a PR you didn't perform as well as you wanted to in the gym that day. What do you do if, you know, you're basically dealing with something, okay? Um, everybody deals with something. And I just wanna make a point, and I want you guys to understand this. Like, if you have a goal, you have, and, and like I always say, more importantly, a dream. If something happens that gets in the way of that goal, that dream, like a fucking, you know, a breakup, or uh, a bad workout, or too much cheesecake, cause like I really like cheesecake, but I don't wanna talk about that too much. Um, or like a shitty workout, or, you know, something, right? If that stuff happens, that's just life. Like, you can't be like, oh fuck, I had a bad workout, I'm done. I'm done with this shit, done, fuck it. Or, you know, I cheated and I was on my diet for a week and I cheated that weekend, so, you know, fuck it, I'm just, I'll fuck the diet, I'll just do the diet later, or I just won't do it, or, you know, I'm done with that goal, right? If you really care about something, if you really want something to be, if you really want to change your body or change your life, whatever it is, it doesn't have to be like in the gym for something, but it could be like, like a job interview, like you, get, you don't get a job. Uh, you got to realize that you're always going to have those days where it's not 100%. It's not what you pictured it to be. I've had hundreds of days like that. And then I'll have hundreds of days that are the exact opposite, where it's like exactly, or it's more than what I imagined. You guys just have to understand that that's life and those are gonna come with everything else. It's gonna come with all the good. The bad is gonna come with it. You guys need to know that. And I just want you guys to understand because I've been asked so many times, like, and I've noticed it more, more, more so recently, you know, what do you do when those things happen? And I just want you guys to know, you just, you're like, okay, that happened, tomorrow is a new day, right? The next workout is a new workout. The next meal is a new meal, right? The next situation is a new situation, period. Like, nothing that has already happened can continue to affect you unless you allow it to continue to affect you. Like, you can't be like, oh, I had a bad workout, so the next, my next 10 workers are gonna suck. Or I, I cheated, and my next 10 meals are gonna be cheat food. Like, you make that decision every single time. Like, every time you put something new in your mouth, every time you step into the gym, it's a new situation. Every time you step into like, uh, something different, it's, it's what you make it. So, if you let like, the little tiny like fuck ups dictate the rest of your stuff. Like how bad do you really want that goal? How bad do you really want to change your life or become better or get a job, change your physique, hit a PR, get a girl, whatever. How bad do you really want it if you're, if you're gonna allow one fuck up or one mistake, two mistakes, three mistakes, whatever it is to dictate everything else? You gotta ask yourself that. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, if you like the style of video, give it a big thumbs up. Um, I wanna do more. I love sharing this stuff with you guys. Probably windy as shit. I feel like all they hear is wind on it. I hear wind in my ear. You hear wind on that? That, that mic? That'll be good. Okay. Um, but seriously, guys, like life is life and life is gonna happen. I want you guys to know that I'm here for you. If you want more dope videos like this, let me know. Um, and yeah, what, what else did I want? There was something else we were gonna tell them. Was it about the back foot? We already told them about the back foot in the other video. I don't know, we don't have a timeline to these videos. Me and Greek? Oh shit, yeah, that's what it was. Okay, um, so when I get to, we're like almost 400,000. We're almost 400,000. Yeah. When I get to half, oh shit, that's a big number. That's a big number. When I get to 500,000 subscribers, fuck man, that's, yeah, that's crazy. That's a long, we came a long ass way. We took, we had some L's along the way. We just kept boom, we just kept boom, we kept moving. Um, yeah, don't stop, that's what it's all about. So when I hit 500,000, we're gonna do a huge mean greet. Um, I'm gonna like give away a ton of shit, a ton of clothes, supplements, everything. I'm gonna give away like Nadim's you know, rent check because I'm gonna basically not pay him and just pay you guys. Um, oh damn, this video is like dying. Yeah, it's dying? Yeah. What's going on? That's weird. I don't know, it's no money. Damn, no money. Oh shit, <laughs> it's slowly going down. No, but it's gonna be dope. So 500,000 once I get there, expect a meet and greet. I know that's like 100, 100 and 
I think it's like 140,000 away. Um, but we're going to get there. It'll happen fast because we're doing some collabs. You guys already know. We'll bring paintball guns so you guys can shoot Bradley. Nah, shoot me. Fuck that. Yeah. Shoot you, bro. You right, shoot if, me. This, if this video, if you guys made it to the end, say, we'll, we'll ca tally up who writes more. Either you guys get to shoot Bradley or shoot Nadim. One of us will get shot. Shoot Bradley or shoot Nadim with a paintball. Not with a real gun. Let's, let's clarify gun. that. Paintball gun. Wait, how are we tallied up, though? We'll just count the comments, whoever gets more. Oh, shoot Bradley, shoot Nadim. Yeah, whatever comment. But then are you Okay, you leave a comment. No. No. And your replies. No, they, I want them to comment it. Shoot right. Bradley or shoot Nadine. Whatever. If you guys get this far, shoot Bradley, shoot Nadine. We're going to bring you a paintball gun. Whoever gets more of those comments to shoot Bradley, then you shoot me. Shoot Nadine, then you're going to shoot Nadine. So shoot Nadine. 100%. Because. Shoot Bradley. Nah, you won't get me. It'll be easier to shoot him and it'll be funnier to watch. But someone has to film it. You're making a good argument. This is fucked. But you won't catch me, because I'm like the fucking flash in this bitch. We're going to tie you down. I'm like the flash in this bitch. Here, stand right there. Okay. And then jump. Watch how fast he is. Jump. Oh, shit, he's gone. 